This video will explore some of the characteristics of black body radiation. In doing so, we will explore an object emitting and reflecting light in both visual and infrared bands. Three types of spectra are discussed in introductory astronomy classes, continuous, absorption, and emission. Continuous spectra are often called black body spectra. Continuous spectra have all wavelengths present, absorption spectra have a few wavelengths missing, and emission spectra have only a few wavelengths present. Kirchhoff's laws describe the types of spectra produced by various objects under various circumstances. One of Kirchhoff's laws is that a dense gas or a solid, like a light bulb filament, produces a black body spectrum. A black body is often pictured as a cavity with a small opening. Light that enters the cavity through the opening is reflected from the walls of the cavity many times until completely absorbed. An ideal black body absorbs all of the light that is incident upon it. Objects that are good at absorbing radiation are also good at emitting radiation. Thus, an ideal black body is also an ideal radiator. Note that ideal black bodies don't exist in nature, but some objects come pretty close. We normally describe a black body spectrum with the Stefan-Boltzmann law and Wien's law. The Stefan-Boltzmann law describes the total amount of energy produced in the form of light, seen here as the area under the curve. Wien's law identifies the wavelength of light at which the most light is produced, seen here as the wavelength at the peak of the curve. As a black body's temperature is increased, the total amount of light energy emitted increases and the peak wavelength moves to a shorter wavelength of light. The apparatus shown here is simply a block of aluminum with a cavity, a hole drilled in it. Note that the outside surface of the block is reflecting primarily visual light and emitting primarily infrared light because of its cool temperature. The hole appears dark because no visible light is getting reflected by it. What do you think the block and hole will look like in infrared light? Your instructor will now stop the video. Before we take a look at the block with an infrared camera, Please make a prediction and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. Let's now switch to an infrared camera. Note that the block is dark. This occurs because at room temperature, a black body spectrum peaks in the infrared. Less light is being emitted in the infrared than is being reflected in the visual by the block. But note that the hole appears quite bright. The entire inside surface of the cavity is emitting infrared light, but it is only coming out through the hole. Thus we have much greater intensity than from the outside surface of the block. Note that we have heated the block to minimize the effect of infrared light emitted by the demonstrator reflecting off of the block. Let's bring in two other blocks made out of brass and steel that have holes drilled in them. Note that the outer surfaces of all three blocks appear quite different depending upon how the material of their composition reflects incident light. All three holes still appear dark. Visual light is going in and reflecting around until absorbed, but at room temperature, very little visual light is being emitted and coming out. Let's switch back to infrared light. Note that all three surfaces still appear differently. The three substances emit and absorb radiation differently, a parameter physicists call emissivity. But note that all three holes still appear bright and equally bright. Black body radiation does not depend on any characteristics of the emitting body except temperature. More teaching materials are available on the web at astro.unl.edu.